Here is the best web browser, fast, easy to install, many features, etc. No I'm just kidding, I'll really give you the best one in this video. I did a lot of tests and can now share my thoughts with you. I put Midori in this selection because it's the only one available directly in the default repository, so you can install it easily. But it's almost its only strength. Midori is a minimalist web browser, that looks old. I used Speedometer to compare the performances, but even if Midori is the one with the fewer features, it was also the slowest in this test. In real usage, I also got several issues, like CSS not loading correctly sometimes or YouTube videos dropping a lot of frames. Midori offer a few extensions that you can enable easily. I tested the ad blocker, but it didn't seem to work correctly. In short, Midori can be a solution if you can only use a web browser from the default repository, but I'll give you way better options in this video. Firefox is way better than Midori, it's a powerful web browser with all the features you might need. If you are using it on your computer, you'll get the same experience. Your bookmarks and passwords are synced. You can install the same extensions and configure everything as you want. Firefox did fine on my performances test, with a similar result than Chromium. But the experience is not the same. Firefox seems too heavy for the Raspberry Pi, watching a YouTube video is difficult. Even if it's good to have an alternative to Chromium with nice features like an ad blocker included by default, it's too slow to be used correctly, especially if you don't have the latest Raspberry Pi model. To install Firefox, the easiest way would be to use Pi apps. Once installed, you'll find most browsers from this video under the Internet and Browser subfolder. Select the ones you want to try, and click Install. Pi apps will do everything for you. Vivaldi is an interesting solution, trying to bring new features and a different interface where every alternative is like a Chromium-like application. When you first start Vivaldi, you'll have the choice between three editions that will enable more or less features for you. By default, you get everything you'd expect from a web browser, including an ad blocker. And the fully loaded version include things that you are more used to see on an operating system than a web browser, like a mail client, a calendar, etc. I tested the classic edition, and Vivaldi was slightly faster than Chromium and Firefox. So, the extended number of features is not really an issue when it comes to performances. YouTube works decently, showing many drops in the stats, but the result is good enough. Vivaldi is based on Chromium, so you can install the same extensions, and the sync option is available too. The ad blocker can be enabled or disabled globally or for each website. It works really well compared to the other options in this selection. So, why Vivaldi is not the best web browser? Well, it's not the fastest, and I also feel overwhelmed with all the options. Look at the settings, you can configure everything and anything. It might be nice to have all these features and parameters on a PC, but I don't think it's a great fit for a Raspberry Pi. We need something lighter. Yes, Chromium deserves a good place in this list. Even if it's the default option, it's a solid choice. The performances are not excellent, but good enough to make it usable on Raspberry Pi. YouTube works well, and you can install all the extensions you want. If you are used to Google Chrome on your PC and have a recent Raspberry Pi model, don't look further, keep the default web browser. I noticed that the synchronization is not working on all Raspberry Pi versions. It wasn't showing up during my tests, but it's enabled on the 64-bit beta version, that's a bit weird. Any idea? Anyway, I kept something more original for the first place. Puffin was suggested during my survey on this YouTube channel, and after my tests, I feel it's probably one of the best browsers to use on a Raspberry Pi. It was easily the fastest one, scoring 4x better than Chromium and Firefox with Speedometer. For the end user, Puffin is like a minimalist Chromium version. You can't install extensions, and the settings are very limited. But do we really need a fully loaded web browser on Raspberry Pi?
Puffin seems to work differently than the other browsers, which explains the performances it gets. Each web page is processed on their servers in the cloud, before being displayed on your screen. This makes it a perfect choice for limited devices like the Raspberry Pi, but I understand you may have privacy concerns. It seems pretty safe to me, as everything is encrypted, but I'll let you do your research if you don't like this process. No problem on YouTube, by the way. I know I'll get dozens of comments about this if I forgot to mention it. One thing that annoyed me at the beginning, was that every website was loaded with a 150% zoom. You can change this in the settings, but I don't really understand why it's doing this. So, if you're still watching, you probably understand that there is no perfect browser for everyone. Each of them has its strengths and weaknesses, and I will try to summarize them now. First, we have to take into consideration that several great web browsers on PC are not available on Raspberry Pi. For example, Brave or Opera, don't have any version available for the ARM architecture. Then, you need to ask yourself a few questions. Do you need synchronization with your computer? Do you need additional extensions? Are you looking for performances or do you want more features? Do you have enough CPU and RAM on your Raspberry Pi to run a standard web browser? In my survey, most of you answer that you were using Chromium. I expected this answer. Chromium is installed by default, you can add extensions, and in theory, synchronize it with your PC. Firefox would be the alternative if you use it on PC, but expect lower performances with it. Here are my performances results by the way. Puffin is way above every other solution, then we have Vivaldi slightly better than Firefox and Chromium. Midori is too slow to be considered in this comparison. The RAM usage is even better representing my impressions. With Vivaldi and Firefox, a bit too heavy for the Raspberry Pi. The three other options are a better choice for this device. In short, I would recommend Puffin if your main usage of the Raspberry Pi is not a desktop computer. If you need a fast web browser to check a GitHub project, read a documentation page or Raspberry Tips, it's perfect. Chromium, and eventually Firefox, are better choices when the Raspberry Pi is your main computer. In this case, you'll probably need extensions and a backup of your data. Vivaldi doesn't seem a great fit for the Raspberry Pi, and Midori is too limited to choose it over Puffin. Let me know in the comments below which one you picked, I would love to read other points of view. If you like this video, here is one that YouTube think you'll love, click to watch it now.